Hi there, this is Jordan Mayton with the Mayton Real Estate Group here at Inspire Realty LLC. Uh, today's topic, we'll be discussing Zillow's estimates and how they reflect the value of your home. You know, I get contacted by uh, buyers and sellers all the time and they're looking at this estimate to give them a good, accurate reading of what a property is worth. You know, and, and that can be a problem. The issue is, is that Zillow is using an algorithm and they're cross-referencing that against an average across the whole neighborhood. Well, Zillow doesn't know whether, you know, there's 70 shag in there from, from back in the day and orange cabinets, or if it's been totally remodeled and now has beautiful new granite, stainless steel, brand new hardwoods. And so what they're doing is they're using an algorithm based on the data that the seller has put in, or even worse, maybe from the tax record. You know, I find that the tax records are, are historically incorrect, right? Someone may be added on, or they didn't include the basement, and now you have to add an extra thousand square feet, whether it's finished or unfinished. And all these differences make a huge uh, variation on what is actually coming up as a, the price on this estimate. It could be off by 10, even 20%. And that's why, just like you wouldn't expect, you know, WebMD to be able to properly diagnose your health problems, I wouldn't expect Zillow to be able to price your property. So you really need to bring a professional in, like myself, for the job of getting a good valuation on your home and to come up with a marketing plan of action if you do decide to sell it. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And please take a moment, share it with your friends, share it with your family, and consider us the realtor of choice for all your real estate needs.